watching Let's Chat. And we get to spend the final few minutes of today's show with Jim Reynolds. 1,300 games and going strong for the UTC Mucks. <laughs> Congratulations. And that's just on basketball, by the way. Congratulations <laughs> on just setting a milestone after milestone. So, um, Mox are seeded, what, 13th after this win over right. Furman. Um, they're going up against Illinois, which is seeded number four. Do you think the Mox deserve a higher or better seed? And do you think maybe Illinois is ranked a little too high? Um, I think Illinois is really good. And I'll say that. They, they were the number one seed going into the Big Ten tournament. Lost in their opening round. Lost a two-point game to Indiana. And they're good. I mean, yeah. I thought the Mox might move up to the 12 seed, up from 13. So I thought they might have gotten a little bit of a better seed. I thought Tennessee should have been a two seed, not a three. But they you know, yeah. that, that shows you what I know. Well, you got to consider UTC 27 and 7, I think, for the year. That's pretty strong any way you cut it. What advice do you think Coach Paris is going to give the players before they hit the court coming up Friday? I think he's always kind of said... And they are, they are pretty businesslike. Do what you do. And that means approach every game. Here's how it's going to go. There's going to be spurts. You're going to play well for a while. You're going to, you know. And, and they just say, take the next play. But, and I ask the players this question as well, your heart had to be beat a little bit faster. <laughs> and they, they were pretty honest with me. Yeah, there's no question about it. Not just on the final play, you know, David's basket. But throughout the game, you know, when the game starts, you're amped up a little bit because they understand you know, you play all season long to get in these these type of situations. Yeah. And, and now it's here. It's finally here. And, you know, regardless of how talented your team members are, you got to be kind of intimidated, for lack of a better word, by Kofi Cochran, seven feet tall. And the dude averaging, what, 20 points and 10 rebounds a game? That's got to be a little mental warfare. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Uh, Kofi Cochran, the, uh, Jamaican, seven foot. I was telling my daughter. And she, she goes, she goes, Dad, how are we going to do? And I said, well, they got a really big guy. And I go, put it this way, he's bigger than Avery. Avery Diggs of the Mox is 6'10". And, yeah. and Avery is big. I said, he's <laughs> taller than Avery. She's just like, oh, my gosh. And when you average, usually, you know, if someone gets a double-double, you say, wow, that's double, double figures in points and rebounds. When you average a double-double, that's yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah. What do you think one of the keys for the Mox to defeat Cochran is going to be? Well, I would say part of that is Silvio de Sosa is as strong as that brick wall right there and played at Kansas. So obviously he's played folks at that high, high level. He's a very physical player. He's very accomplished. And I don't think the mocks, Silvio may be, you know, one of those guys. I don't think he's intimidated by too much. He's pretty darn good. I think Silvio's one of those guys looking forward to the challenge. Tell me about Malachi Smith. Malachi Smith, uh, we joke around him. He's... What the Chicago Blackhawks, Jonathan Tay's player for the Blackhawks, they call Captain Serious. Right. That's what I call Malachi. Malachi <laughs> is one of those guys just focused. Like before a game, I could mess with the players, blah, 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 and they'll give me a reaction. With Malachi, I can I could mess with him and, and he's dead serious. He is focused on the game. He does a drill before the game where he dribbles a basketball and assistant coach Eddie Shannon throws him a tennis ball. So he's dribbling, catches a tennis ball. I go, wow. I can't do either one of those <laughs> separately. He tries, but I mean, he is so focused on the game, but he is obviously an accomplished player. He does everything right. He works hard off the court. He's a team leader. There's no question about who the, you know, after Coach Paris, as far as the players are concerned, the eyeballs go to him. Right. And he is... He's a pretty tough player, and he's a lead, he leads the team. We wish you and the UTC Mox all the best as you hit the road uh, going to Pittsburgh. And by the way, the game is at 6.50, I believe. 6.50. Uh, and that will be broadcast live from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Very quickly, 10 seconds or less left. What do you think about the UT Vols going up against Longwood? I think the Vols will win by 35. Vols by 35. This, that's not hometown. That's, that's, I think they're that that's good. That's the wrong and town. Play, playing hope, that well. Hope you're right. We're going to leave you with this play one more time from <laughs> Jim Reynolds. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning starting at 10. Bothwell out in front. 61-61 tie. Bothwell drives all the way in his layup. is good.